In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a gather like this on this bodice or skirt or even a sleeve. And it is very easy to do. Now, for this video, I'm going to be using a gathering foot. And if I explain to you how a gathering foot works, you have a channel feeding through a piece of fabric. So the layer of fabric goes in at the top is not going to be affected. So it's going to be the width of whatever you're creating to be joined to the gathers. Now at the bottom, this plate is pressing heavily with the pressure of the presser foot onto the feed dogs. Now, because that pressure is applied to the feed dogs, it's going to create a gather. And with this layer going through that's not gathered, when these two pieces join at this point here, that's where the needles are, they will be pieced together and sewn together by the overlocker as one joint piece. And you can see that here. So on the top, I lay this piece, which will be in this case, the bodice and the bottom layer is going to be gathered. I'm going to set the differential feed to two on this overlocker. I'm going to increase the stitch length a little bit and I'm going to increase the tension a little bit. You can make these manual adjustments on your machine. You just want to make sure that your needle is a little bit tighter and that your differential feed is higher at two. So it's creating that gather. I can go a little bit higher on this overlocker and I can have a longer stitch at around three and a half, maybe even four. So let's leave it at three and a half. I think that will be a good number for this fabric. The knife setting is as normal. Now, if you do find that you're getting loops like that, just adjust your knife so that you don't have loops the next time. So practice it on a sample piece. So we're going to change the foot on this machine. So lift up the needles and replace the foot with a gathering foot. Make sure that clicks in. Just turn the hand wheel just to make sure that you don't have any problems and the needles are correctly going through. If you've bought a generic foot, you want to make sure you keep yourself safe. With the differential feed at two, the rate of the feed dogs at the front are going twice as far as the feed dogs at the back. And because they're going twice as far, I need to make sure that the fabric that I have at the top, I will have the double amount of fabric at the bottom. And that will give me the amount of gathers I need. So the way I like to do this is I'll place the gathering fabric at the bottom and I'll start the stitch just for a moment, press a foot down, and that's just caught my fabric. Now with the top, I need to lift up the presser foot and you'll see now why I've secured that fabric in because that could easily get lost and move out and misalign. So I want to make sure that's nicely secure in. Now I've got the bodice and it's gonna be good sides together. I'm going to place that in. And the reason why the presser foot needs to be up is because that can become quite in case. So you can see that the presser foot being down adds pressure to that plate. So I can't get the fabric in as easily. So you can use a pair of tweezers to help manipulate that into place. I'm just making sure that they're lined up as I feed them through. And you can see that the stitching finished right at the edge of the fabric that I started with. And if I flip this over, you can see I've created that gathered skirt. And then all you would do is just top stitch that using a machine. So do this on your sleeves, do it on children's clothes, on dresses, and have lots of fun. 